Hi everyone, welcome to my weekly messages. I'm Jalayla Starr. Today the topic is Don't Shoot the Messenger. The reason that I'm saying that is because last week I did the, uh, I delivered a message from the Nib Ruins on uh, our global economic future along with uh, Obama's future role. And boy, I tell you what, if words were daggers, I'd be pinned to a wall like a pin, pin cushion. It was uh, pretty heated. There's a lot of people out there who don't like Obama. The reason I'm, I've decided to make this a weekly message is because I, I feel like there's a lot of misunderstanding regarding that message. And because it was important enough for the Nibiruans to have me share it, I needed to make certain that I did my best to clarify. So let's just start with their message regarding um, Obama's role. They do not in any way play favorites. They're not saying that they are preferring Obama over anybody else. What they say, and if you have listened to my weekly messages over the last few years, you know when they tell us because they are time travelers and time healers, that they project out along the timelines. What they're saying is in the future, they look at events that are transpiring now or are beginning to form now, and they're looking down the road and they're saying, okay, of these events, we can give you probabilities based on which ones we see will have the greatest amount of energy around them at, that, at, the, at the point in time when they're supposed to occur. And what they were saying is that as far as the U.S. presidency, that you that Obama has the most energy around him. Now, I know there's a lot of people who don't agree with that. I personally have my views about it, but my views aren't important. My job is to give you a message and keep my opinion out of it. So what they're telling us is, and they tried to explain this because they, they knew a lot of people weren't going to be happy about that, is that it appears that Obama is going to be reelected simply because he still has a sole contract, a presidential sole contract. And these contracts are usually chosen eons before the soul actually incarnates into the timeline and the dimension and the planet upon which they are going to serve. He still has one to play out, and his is very unique. The fact that he is biracial, as I explained several years ago when he took office, is indicative of the fact that we are in a time where we're, where we're trying to merge the light and the dark. So he's, he's, he's you know black and he's white, and he has to merge that inside of himself. He's also, he's also a perfect mirror in that way of us integrating our fears and which is the same as integrating the light and dark within us and every president I don't care which one it is has a soul, has a presidential soul contract yes you could say the powers that be that elect them but even the powers that be are souls and they all agreed to this game before they ever incarnated regardless of which side they incarnated on and when you get away from this game they are simply souls like you and me. They have their good side and they have their not so good side, so to speak. In other words, they have their issues to integrate and the parts that they have already integrated. So what I'm saying is he still has a job to play that out for us. And therefore, it is a very, very good probability that he will be um, put in office to do that. Because this is a key point. We are ready to go through a shift. If we can integrate, then we will end up creating the reality we want, and we will see this president as part of his particular soul contract actually move towards freedom and the end of, ins of economic enslavement and all the things that we feel that have been wrong. He will begin to move forward toward us, and at the same time, he will gain support from those who are stepping up to the plate, even people from the powers that be, the global elite, who are going to decide to shift sides at that point. He will get a lot of support to do that so that he isn't terminated ahead of time. If we can do that, we can avoid 
uh, a lot of the so-called pro prophetic things that were meant to happen. Nibiru plays a role in that because Nibiru is simply coming in as a catalyst to make all this happen. It's like you either shift now or you go through a, a much more difficult shift. But it appears from what the Nibiru are telling us that we've already earned that pass. But we, that pass still has to play out and we still have the ability to control just how minimal and mild cleansing, because they say there's still going to be a mild cleansing, how minimal or mild that actually occurs, uh, tends to become. So, I hope that explains it. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there who are voting for Ron Paul. God bless you. You know, there's a part of me that wishes that he could make it. But Ron Paul did not have a presidential contract. What he did have, though, was a contract to awaken the masses. See, if he had gained the political power and gotten the media coverage that, say, Romney is getting or Obama is getting, Many of us in the main, in, in alternative uh, areas, in other words, we, we look at alternative news, would not have paid him any attention because we know that whoever gets the media coverage in mainstream media is being controlled by the powers that be. So we would have not, we would have ignored him. So the fact that he's not tells us that what his role is. And he is doing it, but he was never meant to be president. For, for God's sake, they'd probably kill him. So we don't want this man to be killed. What we wanted to do was to help awaken a lot of people, and he has that. He has done that. So he is completely awakening. We will still have a president who we have to work with in order to shift the mayor. In other words, as we shift, he shifts. I'm not saying that we have to support him. I'm saying you don't have to do anything with him. But what you have to do is your own internal work. You've got to do your own emotional clearing. If everybody does their own emotional clearing, then that's what creates peace. It's not one man sitting in an office. That man simply mirrors back to us, and his actions will be uh, a mirror of what we end up uh, accomplishing. So I hope that helps, and um, I guess I'll find out if it doesn't, right? All right, take care. See you next week. Bye.